Hi, it's JP Morgan. Today on the Slam Lens, we're going to shoot 40 photographs of dentists on white. We've only got 10 hours to do this, so we better get started and see what we can do. We've got our first workshop coming on April 30th. We're going to be at a fabulous airplane museum here in Los Angeles. I'm going to show you how to work on location in all different types of lighting situations, and then I'm going to let you take great images for your portfolio. Join us at the end of our day with some fabulous editing tips that will help take those images and really set them apart. It's on April 30th. You'll love it. Go to thuslandlens.com and sign up today. It's a very limited group, so you better get over there. All right, we better get started. Just clean up our tooth here before we get started. We're shooting 40 photographs of dentists in 10 hours on 10 different sets. We've got an hour per set. We're gonna move from set to set to set. We have three setups going here. So we've got our set A, set B, and set C. We set all these up the day before, so they're all ready to go for our first shot. As we do our first shot, move on to the second shot. We've got a crew to come behind, change everything up, and by the time we get back to set A again, it'll all be set for the new shot. We shoot again. So we gotta go really fast. This is for a calendar for a large dental group. It's gonna be a great promotion for their office. It's all a lot of crazy stuff. Big tooth and big toothbrushes and fun stuff to photograph. So let's talk about these four lights we're putting up on the white background. If you just slap them up there and don't think about them very much, they're gonna do a lot of crazy things to you. What I do is I put two heads on each side of the white background. I put one up and one down on the same stand. One on the stand and one on a bogan clamp. The reason I do that is there's not enough real estate to put two stands next to each other. You can't get them very close to each other. It's just easier, one up and one down. Then I put that same thing on the other side. So a tree of two and a tree of two. The two on the top are gonna to be pretty much straight towards the background and turn slightly towards the middle, not very much. You don't want them to spill onto the person in the foreground. The two on the bottom are gonna turn slightly towards the middle and slightly down. Slightly towards the middle and slightly down because they're going to create a nice kind of glow onto the floor. Make that transition so you don't, don't have a hard line from the floor into the background. Now you've got a nice white background. I'll meter that and kind of turn them until I get that as smooth as I can. I want them to be, say we're gonna be on this at F16 in the background. That gives me a nice white. Then I'm gonna to wanna to be F11 on my subject matter. So I get one stop brighter in the background than my subject matter. That gives me a nice clean white. You know, I know nowadays everyone's gonna say, well, we just outline it and you know, but you can shoot on a white background that gives you a clean outline and have it look very nice and doesn't have to bleed forward or spill onto the subject matter. This is how I do it. We're gonna do this 40 photographs. You know how much retouching that is? We're gonna clean it up, do it in the camera, and it's gonna look very nice. So F16 on the background, and yes, I did use a meter. I meter across, gave me F16. F11 on my subject matter up front. So I have my four umbrellas on the background, and then I've got a nice rim light coming from the camera right side, and then a nice key light up front. I'm using a medium octodome as my key light. The reason I love the octodomes is they're slightly uh, shallower than the soft boxes, which means you get a little harder highlight. And I like that look a lot. It looks very pretty. So there's my key light, my rim light. I've got four lights on the background. We have this on three different setups. Now we're gonna play around a little bit like we've got a boxing ring. On that one, our lighting's a little different. We're gonna have one heavy rim light from behind and then just a small octodome above it's gonna open up the, the shadows just a little bit, kind of open up the faces, get a little highlight on the faces. Then we've got a huge 72 inch white umbrella up front. It's just gonna open the whole scene up, give us a nice fill light. So the light is gonna change a little bit on each of these, but just understanding that principle of getting a nice solid white background will help you control the light and give you a nice white background. We've got three setups here, and so we're using three different types of strobes to get enough heads on set to be able to light all three of these at once. So some of them, like the Power Packs from Dynalite, have a built-in pocket wizard with a trigger on the camera, they fire, they pair, it's fabulous. So the first set's on channel one, we also use the second set on channel one. And what we did is we put two heads in the middle, umbrellas, and so we'll use them for the first set and then we just have to turn them slightly to the next set and use them there. So we don't have to put up four heads in the middle, we can just use two. It helped us save on the heads we had on set. So that was fabulous to be able to save that. So we do pocket wizard channel one on this set, Pocket Wizard Channel 1 on the second set, but then Pocket Wizard Channel 2 on the last set, because on the last set, we're gonna have to put uh, Pocket Wizards on all the different strobes, because a lot of them don't have built-in. We have a, a Speedtron pack in there, we've got some of uh, the Photoflex heads, we've got a whole menagerie of stuff we're using to make that happen, and some Baja heads as well. So we've got everything working today to get all three of these sets lit and uh, going, to, going to town. So let's take a look at some of the things we rigged for the shot today.
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed looking at the photographs we did on our white background. I hope you learned something about how to set up and photograph on a white background, how to make that happen. It's a lot of fun to do, so keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. The month of March is winding down. Your mother-in-law's already signed up for this. Your mother's mother-in-law already signed up for it. How come you haven't signed up for the syrup setup? It's a two-axis setup. Go to dustlineowners.com. My mother-in-law signed up for it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Slide of Lens. You know, brush up on your lighting techniques. Put a little fluoride in your photographs there. And you should floss. You know, tell grandma to break out those dentures and give them a nice focusing occasion. I mean, flossing occasionally, occasionally, whatever the word is. Anyway, subscribe to the Slide of Lens.